just ask you first of all, so Serge, you are you're looking at your badge, you are Royal Navy and Andy, you're RAF. But yeah, you're that's both right. training to fly the same the same plane, which is the F-35. What is, what is the difference between an RAF and a Navy fighter pilot? Essentially, essentially nothing. Um, so with the F-35 programme and all the training we do up to this point, um, we do all of it, all of it together. Um, Cost-saving measures. Uh, obviously, we can't afford two separate flying training systems. Uh, so you would Andy and I have gone through the same, the same pilot training, separate officer training. Would it be for a similar job in the event of, of conflict? Would... It, it depends on which platform you end up on. So at the end of this course, uh, we'll be chosen to either go to fly the F-35 or to fly the Typhoon. Um, so depending on that aircraft, if you get selected for the F-35, um, you'll be expected to perform uh, aviation off a ship as well as on the ground. Gotcha, so yeah, right. That's the main difference between the yeah. Navy and, and mm. the RAF. And what is it that's in the character uh, and the mindset of, you know, you're a very specific sort of breed of person who could get this far uh, in something that is such a narrow set of very, very important yeah. and very pressurised skills. What is it that's... Can you... When you're together, you go, yeah, we're all the sort of same there's sort definitely, of person. Yeah, there's a similar... There's a lot of personality similarities. Do you love it? Yeah, it's, it's an awesome job. Um, I think it, look, it probably looked quite glamorous on the show, but in reality, you're, you're busy most of the time you when you're flying. Uh, yeah, that's the... So in the centre, that's the Hawk T2. So that's the jet that we'd been training on for the last 18 months. So the last 18 months. And your yeah. dream and your hope, you haven't qualified yet, your dream is to, to fly the F-35, which is that's basically right, yeah. the best plane Britain has, right? It's the most advanced jet that we've got in terms of capabilities, yeah. And... I mean, everybody talks about the Top Gun film. Does it annoy you, or is it actually a bit of a favourite anyway amongst you guys? Um, it's, a, it's a classic amongst, um, amongst pilots. I'm, I'm interested in... These days, with, we're not involved in that many theatres of, of conflict. I mean, with the, of course, we had the Iraq war in relatively recent memory. What would... Uh, what is the most likely thing that an F-35 would be used for? at the moment? I mean, that's, that's a good question. The, the good thing about the jet is that due to how wide-ranging its capabilities are, there's no, nothing really you have to specify. Basically, just designed as a, as a full multi-role uh, fighter. So, you know, intelligence gathering, radar work, um, air to surface, air to air, it does, it does everything. And then combining that with the ability to land and take off from an aircraft carrier means mm. you can then project that. Ground. And what do you think it is? I mean, I suppose for your families, this is a real insight, not just for the nation, uh, you know, for the viewing public, but for your families as well, who, who probably yeah, yeah. don't really know what goes on yeah, either. Yeah, I think it was, it was nice. I think that was one of the reasons I, I wanted to do, to do the documentary was because it, it gave an opportunity for my friends and family to see what we do day to day, which is can, it can be quite hard to explain that. Mm. Also, that helmet is worth half a... It's a quarter of a million quarter pounds a million. per helmet. Basically, involves VR. The technology is so... Like, in Second World War, it was just headphones with radios in it, and now you're basically yeah, using VR. it's essentially built... Plane. It's part of the aircraft. That's exciting. Are you, so, are you guys single? Uh, no, I'm no, married. No. Yeah. So you're, you're young and <laughs> fighter pilots and not single. That seems like a mistake. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's definitely not. All right, listen, guys, it's an congratulations. Yeah. Uh, it's an exciting show. And um, I was going to say thanks for doing what you do, but you clearly love what you do anyway. But... <laughs> it's great. Thanks for having us on the yeah, show. Yeah, no, Brilliant. pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank you, Andy.